one out of 81. Go for Adam 81. Can I have you break off the 848 outcome from both of us to 3? Report the suspicious package of an ammunition. 104. I'm uh, 1097. Go three. What the hell happened here? Go ahead and step it up. We have a report from the They got a what? A suspicious package at the ammunition in Sandy, and now there's a report of assault. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna head out yeah, that way. I don't know what the fuck that guy just said. Adam 27, I'll be 97 code 3 to the ammunition in Sandy Shores. Copy. And you're on your way, Bugs? Yep. Alright. Control 1 Adam 81 and 1 Adam 80 advised. The vehicle that we were looking for for that signal 60 is reported to have committed this assault at the ammunition. What are they showing right now? 10 for Adam 81's uh, 1023. Yeah, 1023. Fine. Yeah, update from uh, that uh, scene. Uh, gentleman was uh, assaulted by uh, a male uh, in a black coupe. Uh, EMS uh, is needed on this scene, please. Uh, description of uh, one male is in a suit. Uh, uh, no description of the second male. Okay, so there was... Um... EMS is on the way, sir. Copy. All units be on the lookout for a black dark coupe with two male occupants. Black dark coupe. One is wearing what appears to be the suit, and the other male is appearing to be as well. All right. If you got the scene here, I'm gonna Adam go out and take a look for that. Uh, so I'll be looking. Yeah, looking for a black coupe with Adam two occupants. will be in the area looking for those um, subjects. Bravo, 70 dispatch. Where would you go if you just assaulted someone? Uh, possibly bailing west on Marina towards Joshua. I'm going to go check that. Yeah, I would get out of the area. I'd get out of Sandy. One Bravo, 31 control. Yep. Alright. It would be 10-8, 10 for one Bravo, 31, 10 So it's a black two-door vehicle. Uh, one of them is possibly wearing a suit. Yeah. And there's two suspects. Okay. Actually, yeah, since you're going to go there. Vehicle right here, I got a two door oh, vehicle. Shit. Nope, that's not it. Oh, okay. Fuck. It's a, uh, it was a tornado that had a terrible LED. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I'm going to go south right. on Panorama. Yeah, uh, any ETA on my, uh, and just two. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll bail yeah, out right. west and I'll check out everything. We're on scene right now. We got one in critical. Copy. Control 5 Delta 77. Go ahead, dispatch. Be advised. I'm being told by County 32 that I'm route at this time. 10 4, thank you, sir. I'll continue on Joshua Hang West. On. Oh. Got something? Possibly. I think I might have shots fired over here. I'm on Smoke Tree. Okay. And I'm I'm seeing people running, and I thought I just heard a gunshot. All right. I'll be in route code three. I'll uh, be in route code two. I don't have lights and sirens on. I know, but I'm okay. on uh, Josh right now, so I got code three over to oh, okay. uh, Panorama. Do you have an updated look? And you just don't hear anything anymore? Control. No, I thought I... Transporting 131 to Santa Cruz Medical. I thought I heard Copy. one gunshot, and I saw there's people running alongside the road, so... Okay. Where are you at right now? Charlie 107 Control. Pretty much near the Yellow Jack. Okay. Yeah, I'm at Cat Claw and Smokey Tree. Or Ch Choy, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna go around to Cat Claw. Road, about 10. Copy. I did see a black Sultan, but it didn't have two occupants in it, as far as I can tell. Okay. Yeah, bid five. Uh, more description on this uh, scene. There's uh, a black vehicle at the Yellow Jack. Uh, 
person a package. Uh, yeah, but not a two door. Um, yeah, no. I guess I'll go down 68. Copy. Which way did you go? I'm checking out yeah, the boneyard. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm going to go down yeah, to 68 with uh, Harmony because I need to get some fuel anyway. Uh, possible deal, uh, drug deal uh, near the 24-7 uh, was the previous thing to this. Copy. Possible drug deal? Is that in Sandy Shores? 73, 73 is going to be uh, in the area of Cat Clown Smoke Tree. Um, still looking for the two-door black sedan occupied times two. 10-4. Yeah, I don't see anything in, in the bone yeah, yard. Yeah, I know. They're long gone. 7-4, can I have you break off and roll to 8-4-6? I'm going to into it. It's 5 Delta 77. Who's further investigation? 10-4, what is the investigation for? 10 we have, uh, it's going to be related to the bullet of the black two-dark poops. Supposedly gave us a giant package, a package and then beat them up. Sand fork, I'll try one more time. Gave him a package and then they beat him up. Sand for 1097, good to. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's code 4 on this scene. Uh, if everyone could look out for that uh, black vehicle, black coupe, uh, possible uh, sports car. Uh, if everyone could look for that, please. Copy. Possibly on. Once again, all units in the area of 846 and 848, we are on the lookout for a black suit or coupe. With Female occupants, both pressed up in black tire. I've black got that. Vehicle. I've got that vehicle. I've got it. Where at? Surely One Adam two seven. I've got that vehicle. West Smoke Tree Road in Choya. Copy. One Adam two seven. Digital thirty twos immediately, please. Copy. Could I get any unit, all units available in the area to respond right now? Plus three. Hey, what's going on? Adam, any one, same traffic. Oh, okay. No problem. 122, same traffic. All right, they're getting uh, food at the hot chihuahua right here, or the chihuahua right here at uh, Smoke Tree and Cat Claw area. I have not engaged them yet. I'm waiting on them at 32. Trust, reduce those uh, vehicles. Reduce those vehicles. I don't want them to know we're rolling in code three. I have anyone. Signal one hundred because we're going to be doing a uh, signal. Or we're going to be code five here. You guys ready to go in? Yep. Yes, sir. All right. I'll be the left side. Tahoe, you want to be in the middle, and Bugs, you on the right. Let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Everybody hands up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck, what's going on? Yep, put your hands up. Both of you, hands up in the what's air. Happened? What's, 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 what's going on? in a minute, hands up. They're up, they're up. Don't shoot. Phase away from us. Turn around. All right, all right. All right, man in the pink shirt, start walking backwards. Delta 122 is 1023. That's not pink, man. Tell him it's salmon. Keep coming. Copy. Keep salmon. coming. And stop. That's good right there. I got you. Pink shirt, you got a weapon on you? Control the child, so you 1023. Uh, no. All right, Micah M is uh, 83. Got it. Right, you can put your hands down. Thank you. All right, sir, in the black, you can start walking backwards. I got you covered, Bugs. We're going to explain this in a minute, guys. All right, keep walking. Keep walking. Stop. Take two steps to your right. All right, and stop. Who is this? Uh, just ask me if he has a gun. Uh, ask ask me if he has a gun. You have a weapon, sir? That's what I did. 
Uh, yeah, I do. I do have a gun on me. Okay, where is that at? He's 79. Uh, it's in my, uh, it's in my left breast, uh, shoulder holster. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. You can go ahead and put yeah, your no hands down. Across. One Adam two seven right. two Weapons subject secure. ten fifteen. You can lift the signal. Uh, officers, I'm I'm sorry for lying for you. Uh, I have a gun as well. You said you do have a gun on you now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was just scared. It's uh, it's in my breast pocket as well. It's a little danger. All right. I appreciate you telling me that now. I apologize, officer. Okay. All right, go ahead and uh, come off the road here. Stand right here next to your buddy. We're going to move the vehicles all the way so we can get uh, the road uh, open, guys. If you guys want to take, take a seats in these white chairs right here, we'll explain to you what's going on. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. All right, gentlemen. So were Probably you guys on Algonquin at the, uh, at the ammunition there? Uh, yeah, I was there earlier this morning. Uh, I was at actually they're purchasing some ammunition some am ammunition from ammunition <laughs> ammunition okay ammunition from ammunition gotcha uh yeah. you guys don't know anything about a package or anything did you drop a package off or something like that no well we were at uh, we were at the 24 7 and uh we were just picking up some uh some e cola and i got a uh, i got a maple hand from there and uh okay 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 some guy okay, um okay go ahead yeah, yeah, some guy approached us over there with a, he was on a motorcycle and he said, hey, you guys want to make some money? Uh -huh. And I was like, listen, I was like, I got priors, you know, I've, I've been, you know, been to jail before, I'm not trying to go back. And uh, kind of just, you know, he left and walked away and then that was that, I wanted nothing to do with it, you know? Right, no, yeah, I understand that. I'll let you take the rest of their bugs It just kind of seems shady, like, you don't know me, I don't know you, you know. We'll play good cop, bad cop. I'll be the good cop, yeah. you'll be the bad cop. <laughs> so you guys didn't see anything, uh... So the, the the guy on the motorcycle asked you if you guys just want to make money? Yeah, he comes up to me and he's like, hey, you know, you want to make some money? And I said, listen, I, I don't, you know, first I didn't know what it was, so I, I'm not going to lie. I did ask what it was, and he said he'd need me to drop up a package for him. And I was like, all right, I mean, that, I don't want to be, you know, any part of that. And uh, my my cousin over here, he's uh, he's been a good, you know, good kid his whole entire life, so I'm not trying to get him involved in any of that. So we kind of just left it at that and walked away. We're not, we're not from around here. We're new to the town, so. All right, so you're saying that he was trying to give you a package? Yeah, he he approached us and uh, wanted to give us a package, and he was like complimenting me on my car, saying I had such a nice car and everything. And okay, can you explain and he to drove me? Drove away, and we left it there. Can you explain to me how that person on the motorcycle ended up to be assaulted at the ammunition? Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody overheard the conversation about him having some stuff on that needed to be delivered. And maybe they robbed him or went to go after him. I don't. I can't explain for him, you know. Right. I wasn't around when it happened. Well, there's something that makes me think that you were around when it happens. Well, like, I, but I was in the area. Like, I was at 24/7, and I got gas at the gas station at the corner of uh, so Alhambra over there. Were you and the motorcyclist at the ammunition at the same time at any point during today? Oh no, I was never. I was never. Well, the only place I was with him was in the parking lot behind the twenty four seven. That's where my car was. Okay. Okay, I'll continue. So my question All is, right, where exactly um, are you guys from? Oh, we're from uh, Liberty City. Liberty City, right. classic Liberty City. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, what are you gonna ask? Oh, no, it's all right. I was going to let you guys know. Well, the reason why we're pulling up in the way we are is because we have a bolo, a be on the lookout is what that's called uh, for your black coop back there. We've been looking, you know, looking for it for a while. And uh, it was directly attached to the assault at um, at ammunition. I guess, there's a witness involved. Uh, there's no other reason why we would, wouldn't have a bolo if that weren't the case. So, um, oh, yeah, I understand. That's, that's, yeah. The more you guys can be honest with us, the 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 best this is going to go, and your sentence is going to be much much less. We have a lot of evidence stacked up against you right now, um, so coming clean is like your best option at this point. I don't know how much evidence we have, but I'm just going to kind of. No, I mean we. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, we didn't. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's nothing. Yeah, no, there was. We didn't do anything. I mean, yeah, if I'd had anything else to tell you, I would have added to it. All right, so you're just going to go to the story that you guys don't know. 
He might have seen, might have seen knocked him. over. Uh... Yo, sh that, shut that, up, that, dude. That, that, yeah, that, and you decided to not let authorities know at all. That's none of my business. Well, I mean, you know, I, I didn't know wait, Steel. You ever heard about the, you know, the saying, snitches get stitches? Hang on, sir. snitches get stitches for a Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, Nail him to the cross. What is your friend over here? Sir in the pink, go ahead and stand up for me. You want to separate him now? Yep. Yep. All right, follow me for a second. You better not talk. Don't say shit. You got to get a lawyer first. You talk. You continue talking to this gentleman. I'll be right back with you. All right, sounds good. Trying to get far enough away. Yep. Yeah, no, I don't want him to even remotely know because this guy seems like he's going to talk. Yeah. Are they still talking? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Nope. I couldn't hear you. All right. Come yeah, on, keep walking. Yep, you. still happening. Still happening. <laughs> How about now? Are they still talking? Uh, Not anymore. That's it. Right there. Okay. I think we might be good. All right, sir. So i i feel like you wanted to talk to us i feel like you had some more information that you wanted to tell us it seems like you're uh you said he was your cousin yeah yeah that's my cousin uh we've been you know best friends for years okay it doesn't seem like he wants to be too cooperative with us and it seems like you wanted to kind of help us out with this situation so if you have any information you know that it's going to help you out the most I mean, I, I just got it a couple weeks ago. I don't want to get my cousin in trouble. I just, I, I just don't know. Well, at this point, you're, it's not a matter of getting your cousin in trouble. It's a matter of you keeping yourself out of jail for a lot longer time than what we've already got against you. Because, look, if you tell us what's going on, I'm not going to go tell your cousin that you told us what's happening. I'm going to go tell the DA that you were trying to help us out. And if your cousin doesn't want to help himself out, that's his deal. You got to think about you. I understand that he's family. But if he's not going to help out with this situation, you got to help us out so I can help you out in return. Like you said, you don't want anything to go wrong here. You don't want to go to jail. But I got to get some <laughs> more information to trust you on that. Oh, okay, I mean, all right. He's a good guy, all right? He, he means no harm. <laughs> he's just trying to make a buck over here. And basically, right. he, he approached the guy uh, outside of the 24-7. The and he, he he wanted to he's like hey 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 watch this and and he he go grabs a package from his car and he, he approaches him and he uh, offers him quite a hefty sum of money to uh to take that somewhere for him okay basically basically after that uh i guess the guy he flaked out i don't know what he did but uh he, he put a little gps one of them gps things from costco that you can get uh in in, in the bag and he's like oh this right. motherfucker blah, blah. so we go over he talks to the guy. Guy's like, I called the cops, uh, and he kicks the shot of him. I, I don't know why, man. I, I really don't know why. Okay, so you didn't take a part in that assault at all. I mean, no, I, I didn't hit no one, man. I, I had nothing to do with it. I was just, like I said, I was with my cousin. All right, I, I just got here. We just, we just linked up, uh, you know, earlier today, and uh, this is, this is what the day. Okay. All right. Well, and you have no idea what was in that package that he was trying to give to that guy I, I i have no idea it was quite a large package i mean uh, about the size of a briefcase but like listen guys i mean i really don't want him to get in trouble man he, he, he's a good guy he doesn't deserve to go to jail you should just you should just let it well i mean we're talking about assault here we're not talking about murder at this time but you know you coming clean you telling us your side of the story is going to keep you uh you know from being accused of the crime because well, i don't know what he's saying you know to our officers right now we're working with you so you don't have to serve any more time than you, you know, deserve. Because I, I, when, I do appreciate that, officers. When both of you guys sit there and, and nobody wants to talk, with, for us, you know, if nobody wants to say anything, nobody wants to come forward, it, we're just going to end up having to charge both of you guys because we, we know that an assault took place in front of the ammunition. Uh, we don't know who was involved in that assault, who was the aggressor. Um, we know that there was a, your, that your cousin's black two-door uh sedan or your two-door coupe over there that was seen leaving the scene with two gentlemen dressed in uh business attire so i mean you're just as guilty as he is at this point unless you can tell us you know what what else was going on so if you're saying that you didn't have anything to do with the assault um you know if we can get the same thing out of your cousin if he's willing to talk at all which it really didn't seem like he was going to then you know we can help you out because if you didn't do anything i don't want to have to arrest you 
I, I get it. I mean, that that's that's pretty much just what happened. Uh, you know, he bopped the guy pretty good at the uh, at the ammunition up there. I didn't. I don't know. He didn't look too hurt. I mean, he maybe got knocked out for a little bit, but. It, well, I showed up to that scene after that call went out, and I'll tell you, he was still laying on the ground, and and uh, medicals on the way to treat him. So it was a little more than just a little punch in the face. Uh, can I get your name, by the way? I'd rather talk to you on a first name basis. I'm uh, Deputy Fabiano with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, it, uh, my name is Lorenzo Campanelli. And I like it. Do you think that you would be able to talk to your your cousin at all and get him to open up about what's going on? Uh, I mean, he's involved with a pretty bad crowd. I mean, he's he's a good guy, but he's just he's involved with the wrong crowd. You know what I'm saying? And it's just I I don't I don't want to get myself involved in that, and I don't want to rat on my cousin family. Okay, yeah, I I, I can understand that. Well, like so I he's said, gonna, he's going to stick with what a, whatever story he's giving you. Unfortunately, there's not much I can say about that without you know getting myself in. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm not going to go over there and tell him that you told me any information. Okay, we're going to keep that totally anonymous. Um, but like like I said, I want to be able to help you out. I don't want to arrest you for something you didn't do. I appreciate you guys working with me. But, um, I mean, yeah, that's that. That's all I could say about that. I, I, there's nothing really more to add. Uh, I don't know whatever. Okay. Uh, it was just, I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, I suppose. All right. All right. Well, let's go ahead and walk back over there, and uh, we'll try to piece this together. Oh, it's a whole mess of uh, words over all there, right, just, just so you know. Just please, please don't tell him <laughs> Oh, I bet. Yeah, no, trust me. I won't, I won't tell him you said anything. I'm just running his information right now. Okay, thank you. He seems like he's uh, giving us the the, the good he word seems, there. Yeah, he seems trustworthy. Uh, unless he's he really seems... cunning, it's yeah. Hard well, to then say. again, again, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can will be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to an attorney. If you cannot, I'll uh, talk with these other officers one, one to yeah. about what's going on. All right, yeah, just give me the update. Ready? Yeah, you can go ahead and take a seat next to your cousin. No, I, yeah, I do. All right, all right. So uh, here, uh, you want me to get your lawyer on the line? Am I, am I going to be questioned anymore? Am I going to need one? or You uh, yes, you are going to be questioned, questioned more, more, yes. Okay, okay, that's no problem. Okay. Since yeah, your cousin yeah, over like here a, didn't like want to talk, you know, we're going to have to question you a little bit more. Okay, right, that's fine. So, all right, so uh, you want me to call your lawyer here? I mean, if you want to do it here, no, I mean, he's not going to get here in time. Yeah, all let's okay. let's hold all off right, on that. Well, um, you, you, were you leading this over here in... Uh, Charlie 30? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's going three different directions for me. Uh, okay, can we, uh, let's talk over here. Can one of you guys, can you guys watch these guys? Hey there, yeah, I got can you bring him over where we were? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back I'm behind this. I'm still waiting uh, on my return for here. this 27-29. Alright, so, uh, right, so, what was the, uh, what was the other guy giving you? He was going three different directions. I remember at first he told us, uh, uh, what I'm kind of concerned with is that nothing that comes out of him is true uh, can be considered truthful at this point, okay. because he's changing his stories at least twice, um, uh, as as in he's seen them, and, and then when he threatened his partner over there, snitches get stitches. After he said, "Oh yeah, we right. might have seen him," it's it's going three different directions for us. So how about you guys? What did you guys get? So the his cousin, the one in the. Uh the pink shirt he pretty much told us that uh the guy in the black suit uh tried to get the guy in the motorcycle to deliver a package for him he offered him a large sum of money the guy then i guess said that he was going to call the police um so they found him uh with a they had a gps locator inside the package uh they found the guy at the ammunition they rolled up the guy in the black suit assaulted him and then they took off he, the the guy in the pink is is claiming that he was not involved in the assault he wasn't involved in the transaction of the package he doesn't know what was in the package but from what i talked with him about is he seems he he seems like he's telling the truth he seems trustworthy all right then well so I, I mean, I think the, the the guy in the pink was just the passenger, and he wasn't really complicit in what was going on and understanding what was going on. I think the full aggressor and the person that we're looking for is the guy, the driver, the guy in the black. 
Was he yeah, in the train? Yeah. Uh, also, Assuming. I'm going. I was already going to arrest him because of the package. Well, that was garbage. I called in his uh, his stuff. Twenty seven, twenty nine. Never came back. Um, and then another unit over there was already calling in in again. And I come back and they're like, "Oh, now I have the twenty seven, twenty nine for you. He's clean." So Lorenzo's <laughs> clean and clear on his record. Okay. Yeah. Right, so well, uh, just for um, the sake of uh, uh, being anonymous, he didn't want. Uh, he didn't want it to be on the record that he was pretty much snitching on his cousin. So I told him that I wouldn't tell his cousin that he said anything and I wouldn't tell, you know, so let's, let's keep that separate. Let's keep him separate from knowing what's going on. But if I had to say anything about what was going on, I think the guy in the black should go to jail. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm almost willing to cut the guy in the purple or in the pink a break because he, in my opinion, it seemed like he was telling the truth. Yeah, no, uh, I agree yeah. with that. Uh, I mean, that sounds good. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's move over here. Yeah, I just, can still hear him. Just Ooh, absolutely sorry. do not, do not let them know that, you know, we were talking with them and they're giving up that information. That will completely ruin the entire investigation. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, the thing was, uh, what I didn't get a chance to tell you is that he actually has a false uh he has a false compartment in the uh, trunk, which hints at uh, uh, which hints at drug trafficking. So, with the package in this, I'm going to say we arrest that guy for right now on suspicion of drug trafficking. Okay. Uh, and then we do we do we know who the driver was? Was the driver the other guy? I do believe it was the guy in the black. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, that makes more sense. The guy in the pink mentioned that he was he was the passenger. Okay. Yeah, I also seem like uh, he, uh, he also told us to be careful with that car, uh, which pretty much infers that that, that that's essentially his car. Um, all right. Uh, all right. All right. So yeah, right now let's. All right. Well, let's arrest the guy in the black for suspicion of drug trafficking. Uh, we can't falsely uh, arrest the other guy, so why don't we just uh, still bring him in for questioning as if he hasn't talked. Well, so. what, I, what I figured we can do is I'll go over there and we'll, we'll tell him that they're both under arrest. I'll place the guy in pink in my vehicle, and we can go and take the guy in black into custody into the station. And then I will, uh, I'll just stop on the side of the road or something, and, and we'll square it away with the guy in the pink, and we'll cut him loose. Just so All the right, cousin doesn't like get... Plan. get Issue yeah, about we'll what's still going have on. Come down to the, we'll still have him come down to the station to fill out, to, to, to do the whole uh, spiel so the other guy doesn't even think anything else is up. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that sounds good. That, that sounds like a definite uh, good plan. All righty. So, awesome. All right. Let's play in motion. All righty. Man, that was a badass takedown on them. They didn't even fucking expect it. <laughs> I showed up and I had my lights and siren on because I saw their car. But I just blipped it a couple times, and, and I got their attention, and they're like, "Hey, what's going on?" And I was like, "Hey, how you doing today?" And they're like, "Oh, nothing." <laughs> and blah 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 blah. They're just getting oh, my team. I'm like, "All right, well, have a good day." And then I went down the road oh, and man. turned around, and we staged. <laughs> it was great. All right, All right let's so see how this goes. He's a, nice, he's a nice guy. Let's see how this goes. Okay, after discussing over there, uh, both of you are currently going to be under arrest for suspicion of drug trafficking. Uh, uh, so right now, I'm going to have you guys stand up. Uh, I'll put, what? uh, I'll put the guy in a black suit in the back of my car. Which one's and, the one with uh, the uh, pink? I believe that's Mojo. It's this guy that I'm in front uh, of. You'll get, yep. you'll get him. I, I'm just thinking, remember, Lorenzo's his name. Yeah. Yeah, L Lorenzo, we're going to be putting you in the back of, uh, Deputy uh, Bugs here in his vehicle. Right. Yep, uh, follow no, me. Did you guys, uh, did you two highway guys end up getting a, uh, a ID, uh, off the car? I still waiting for dispatch. I don't know if I even get out of here, man. We, we're going to take him to the station? No, we're going to talk to him, let him know what, what's going down. Where at? At the station? Uh, um, They're going to be moving him down to the station, so let's make a... Yeah, let's head like we're going towards the station, but we'll go a little further down. Okay. It is want to take him into like this guy the, uh, does not... Yeah. Yeah. We want to take him into the like parking lot of the motel or something? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That was a good bust, man. Yeah, it was. That is the kind of police work I love. Yeah, I hope this guy isn't fucking with us. Yeah, I but know. He seems it's hard he to seems say. I mean, truthful. in this. Yep. All right, Lorenzo. 
Um, we're going to be cutting you loose here. Um, I believe your story. I hope you're not uh, making a fool of us here. All right, I'm really trusting you in, in your story. I, I believe what you said. I believe that you didn't understand what was going on and that you were the passenger and that you were involved in this. I hope you don't prove me wrong. But uh, we're cutting you a huge break here. Your cousin's going to be going for the assault and the uh, drug trafficking. Oh, All that's right, a huge relief. Uh, yeah, so you're going to be coming down to the station with us. Like, everything else is fine. We're going to have to fill out a statement. And then, we're, as he's booked in, we're going to release you from there. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, the detectives are still involved in the case. Forensics can get in there, and we will find out what the actual truth is. So if you are uh, if you come back with something that uh, is a little bit uh, interesting, we're going to – we know where you are. We know who you are, where you live, and all that stuff. So we will be uh, showing up for that. Okay, thank you so much. I, I, I would never try to pull one over on you guys. Like, I was just scared. I didn't know. He's going to be – is right. there any way I can pick up his car? Uh, uh, no, that that vehicle will be impounded for evidence in the, that case. And yeah, don't worry. We, we told the other officers to keep it anonymous, so they're not going to tell your cousin that you were the one talking or anything. So it, it'll be totally anonymous. The only way he will be able to tell is, I guess, getting the information out of anybody else. But like I said, everyone's going to keep their mouth shut. All right, th thank you, officer. Uh, both of you guys, I really appreciate the work you do. You know what I mean? Shit, I, I, I'll make a nice donation to your department. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate the honesty as well. It helps us out. So yeah, we, yeah. Like I said, I was just scared. So uh, thanks again. You. We gotta take him to the station, bed. right? Yep. He's got to fill out a witness report. Okay. We'll make sure that guy's back before him so he can out. walk. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. And we're gonna you're gonna have to get back in my vehicle okay, here, and we're just gonna go down to the station real quick so you can fill out a witness report. Oh, okay, is my cousin going to be there? Yeah, I'll uh, we'll make sure that he's not there while you're there. All right, he's in jail. We can bring him the other guy in. All right, we're just okay. going to bring uh, his buddy in. He's going to sign the uh, release or, or his statement. And then once that's done, he can uh, be cut loose back to the street. We let him know that the uh, detectives are still working on the case and forensics and all that stuff. So if anything comes back on him, we know who he is and where he lives. So uh, he assured us that he had no uh, no business with it. With it. All right, sounds good. Nice sounds job. Okay. Here he comes. All right, you can step out. We'll go into the station. You'll fill out your uh, your report. Make sure everything is as accurate as you can give us, uh, detail wise, and um, we'll pass it on to the detectives. We already have your uh, cousin in a cell, so he won't even know you're here. Yeah, he's way okay. in back. So. All right, so go ahead and fill out this report. Like I said, be as descriptive and detailed as possible. It's going to help out the detectives. Okay. All right, sir. Have a good one. Yeah, thank, thanks, officers. I appreciate it. All right, yeah. I mean, time will tell if we got the right guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I I have a feeling we, we, we did everything we possibly could in that situation, and the fact that he even squealed was, I mean, perfect. Yeah. So I'm guessing you guys... So I'm guessing you guys gave him the rundown. Yeah, uh, it's for anything else. 